We'll keep coming back to you to get all that's happening at the event. Now, ET now gets you an A-list panel to pick up talking points around this whole exercise. Will India stand out in this unfriendly neighborhood? Is this our time to rise and shine? What is the India edge after all? And lots more here in this exclusive interaction. Take a look. We are growing at about 7.4%. Mm -hmm. uh, we are an oasis of growth uh, in a very barren economic landscape across the world. But the challenge for India is really to accelerate that pace to 9 to 10%. The important thing to understand is that we are the last giant economy in the world to open up. Mm -hmm. We're going to see about 700 million people getting into the process of urbanization by 2050. Mm -hmm. uh, we are the only country with a billion mobile, with a billion uh, biometric, uh, with new bank accounts, 200 million people. I mean, this has huge possibility of using technology to leapfrog. This is a huge possibility of reducing your costs of transaction and lifting people above the poverty line. But I think the important thing is that India must become a very, very compet cost competitive nation. Our total factor productivity must improve. Uh, we must be able to penetrate global markets on sheer efficiency and cost competitiveness. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the moment because we are undertaking structural transformation in our economy. We are moving away from a very, very highly subsidized economy to production, uh, productivity and efficiency based uh, things. We are we carrying those big measure changes. What are the enablers around manufacturing that you see? How have they changed in the last 19 months? And what are the other changes <coughs> that you would want for manufacturing to be this roaring success that Lion to actually roar? Today the Indian uh, entrepreneur has started now believing that we can be a manufacturing hub for the world, which I think is a big movement towards uh, you know, a positive thinking. And I think the government, as Mr. Kant was saying, that there are a lot of positive actions being taken, and it's a long-term process. You know, uh, I think we would need to take steps around labor reform, land reform, uh, you know, overall infrastructure building, road development, all these corridors which are being developed. Yeah. So overall, the cost of production will come down because of these measures. And I think India will become a far more competitive uh, position. Why look at a China model? Uh, because that model has essentially landed China where it has. Uh, is there space for another export-led uh, economy, so to say? So that's question number one. And question number two also is that if services are so good, why don't we promote them? And does an economy really need to go through the manufacturing revival, the manufacturing roar for it to become significantly big? No, firstly, we must understand that... Uh, China has actually grown for very long at, the pace at the very high rates. Yes. You know, I mean, if you grow at about 10% per annum, mm. you double your GDP in seven years. So China has done that several times over, mm -hmm. uh, number one. Number two, we must be very clear that no country in the world, no country in the world has ever grown without it's driving its manufacturing. Mm. But in a country with 1.2 billion, there are huge perils huge perils of bypassing the process of manufacturing you'll just not be able to create jobs for your people and therefore you need to you need growth with equity you need growth with jobs and that's why you need manufacturing is there a sense that corporate india gets that the buck is being passed as far as a very contentious issue and perhaps the starting point for manufacturing is concerned which is land so i i, I don't think uh, you know the, the buck is being passed really because at the end of the day, it is a very local subject mm. and state governments are the ones which have to be on top of that uh, particular issue. Uh, I think uh, if you look at manufacturing, land becomes a major issue for large scale manufacturing. But as far as smaller manufacturing units are concerned, micro industry, they, I don't think it's such a big issue. Well, the economy is stuttering. Factory output contracted in December as manufacturing and capital goods industry slowed down. All